has just been made much more easier for the 30 members of the Delis Women in Toloma Action Group. Today we are here in Delis for the official opening of the Toloma Processing Facility. The Honorable Parliamentary Representative for the Laplaine constituency, Peter Saint-Jean, calls the occasion a classic example of people working together. This is a classic example of what can happen when people work together. When we pool our resources as community and we work for the good of each other. Very often when there were um, sermon meetings, just a handful of them would show up. But through it all, they were able to hold together. And today, here we are, reaping the benefits of a cooperative spirit. Indeed, it has not always been easy for this group of 29 women and one man. After the decline of the banana industry in the early 2000s, the need for diversifying into other crops prompted this farming community to move into the production of Toloma and cassava. In 2007, the daily Toloma Women in Action group was formed under the leadership of Alberta Sorrento, who still serves as president today. The purpose of the group was to assist women with a project that will assist women of the community. In December 2008, Mr. Joseph Isaac and Ms. Solly Barry from the Business Gateway, headed by Dexia, had a 30-month program getting to targeting towards startup groups, and we were fortunate to be part of this program. At the end of the program, we received pouches, labels, and a sealer for packaging our product, and we were left on our own. She explained that it took seven years of training workshops and seminars to prepare the group for its current level of success. Consequently, the group needed land to construct a processing plant and the government of Dominica stepped in and leased land to the group. Eventually, Sorrento was told about the Global Environment Fund or Jeff Small Grants Program. It is through this program the group was able to realize this project. With the help of Jeff, we have benefited tremendously. This is why we are today reaping the benefits. Since its inception in 2005, Jeff Small Grants Program, through its National Steering Committee, has funded over 100 small projects in Dominica. The Otoloma project is one that clearly demonstrates Jeff Small Grants Program commitment and support. Because of the increase in Toloma production, there was a need for moving away from the traditional methods of processing which was labor intensive and time consuming, but had severe implication on hygienic conditions and quality. In that regard, the Toloma women applied to just small grants for the processing facility. We approved 46,000 US dollars, about 122,820 EC, and that was approved in April. The group was also successful in a second application to Jeff Small Grants program and received 30,000 US dollars for equipment for grinding, drying and packaging the product. Deputy Resident Representative of United Nations Development Program, Swap Regional Office for Barbados and the OECS, Chaisa Mikami, also witnessed the occasion. This is a program that reaches local communities and show direct physical results, but also bring about the growth in capacity of local people and empower them to participate in co-management of the resources as they are able to use those resources in a sustainable manner. Following the official opening and blessing of the facility, we witnessed a small demonstration of the operation. Sorrento explains what happens after the grinding process. We have to place two barrels of Toloma with water, with a thin cloth, 
over each barrel. Then we wash the tolom, the, 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 those water that is being grinded upon one, and then we rinse it in another and let it settle. After it is settled, we, we throw away the water and we continue giving it water until it is white. And this um, water, um, we will be giving it, it will not contaminate anywhere. Before we had um, this machine, we had other members of the villages that used to um, have other machines similar to that. But ours is different and more modernized. Before, we used to lift up the load and pour it in the mill. And we would have, the gentleman would have a stick, but now we will have no, um, no stick to press it down. Then, it is dried here. After drying it, we will weigh it inside here, package it and label it, and then it will be ready for the market. With a growing demand on the market for the commodity, there is much money to be made from this business. Toloma now fetches $10 a pound on the market. The product is already on the regional market and Sorendo says her new dream is to go international. The Honourable MP encouraged farmers and other tradesmen and women in the constituency to use the Delhi Toloma Women in Action group as a model to pursue their dreams. Kimani Seja reporting from Delhi's for GIS News.